Which one is your boat? All right, we're about to board this one. All right, let's go. Since I get on the boat, I pay. This one right here. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Ah. Okay, stay here then. It's okay, don't worry. Sorry. You sit there, it's okay. Sit here? Yeah, you can sit here. Ah. This is uh, the boat, this is where I'm gonna be. So, we're about to go. We're, we got a private tour. Uh, and that's how I like it. There we go, this is my quarters for the day. This thing is rocking. <laughs> uh, where am I gonna put this? Uh, let's put it here. Nope, that ain't it. Uh, okay, we're leaving. All right, I'm gonna go inside. Put my phone up. I don't want my phone. Let's roll. <laughs> this is so crazy. Whoa. All right. Here we go. Uh, look at the boat. We're rocking. We are tilting, guys. Look how much we're tilting. This is crazy. Ooh. Okay, we are good. Oh, better. He told me to move here. It's better. Ah, oh, better. Okay, let's go. First this island. Is this is Porter Island? Yeah. It's beautiful. And now this is not too much people. This is Porter Island. Not too much people. Crazy. Look how clear the water is. You can see right through the bottom. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Porter Island. And it doesn't look like anybody's here. This is nice. Uh, all right, bam. I'm gonna try and keep you guys steady. Oh, Ooh. the water is warm. Wow, this is nice. Porter Island, and we are the first ones on the island. 
my awesome captain got me here safely. This is beautiful. Are these hotels or? Wow. Porter Island on that boat right there. Guys, if you've never ridden a wooden boat in the water, in the ocean, you should do that. It's a different experience, I tell you that. It's a beautiful experience. Get you a captain that's experienced. Man, it's beautiful. Okay, Porter Island was beautiful. We're going to the next island. Time is of the essence. I'm trying to be everybody uh, to these islands. That was so cool. I saw a huge jellyfish too in the water and then it disappeared, so I got scared. I ain't trying to get bit. My best friend got stung by a jellyfish when we were in the military and we had to pee on her. A bunch of us peed on her because she was in pain. And the I guess something in your urine helps with the pain. I'm not trying to find out. On to the next island. There's Porter Island. Beautiful. Wow, stunning. This is Thailand. There's so many different parts to Thailand, it's incredible. Uh, I forgot what that is called. I had some name I can't pronounce, but that is not a part of Porter Island. How beautiful this place is look at the water you can see through it so many jellyfish if you're if you get seasick you shouldn't ride this boat because this boat is making me a little nauseous and I don't get seasick I, I mean I guess I do this is so cool <laughs> wow what a time man what a time to be alive Uh, this island is called Chicken Island. You can see it. It looks like a chicken. You see the head? <laughs> that is so cool. Oh. oh. That is so cool. Isn't that beautiful? Chicken Island. You see the chicken head? That's why they call it Chicken Island. Thailand's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful islands, beautiful rock formations, wonderful captain, awesome uh, photographer.
So the, bro the boat broke down. We are stuck in the middle of the water and another boat is coming to get me. <sighs> Man, this is <laughs> classic. It's okay, it's okay. Check out the beautiful scenery uh, while we wait for rescue. Hopefully one of those boats are coming to get us. We are stuck in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> Boat broke down. The propeller snapped right off. Uh. At this point, I'm ready to end uh, the tour. I'm nauseous. <laughs> this boat is rocking. The waves are strong. And we're waiting for rescue. Oh, man. The propeller snapped right off. I still would encourage to do something like this. This something like this rarely happens where a boat breaks down. It's all the experience, right? <laughs> Nauseous. Man. I'll see you guys when we uh, get rescued. There's my ship. It's taking me back. Rescue! Look at the water. It's green, it's beautiful. So he's gonna, he's gonna turn it around. He's just walking on the ledge. A cow. Search and rescue here, fam. We were stranded in the middle of the ocean. It's beautiful. We got beautiful scenery. All right, I got to jump across in this deep shark infested water. Wish me luck. Ooh. Okay. Uh, you'll hand me my stuff? All right, thank you. Uh, thank you. Oh. Made it! Uh, yes! Dang it. Okay. Throw. All right, I'm gonna give him a tip. Uh, I'm good. Good. Because I still had fun. He deserves it. Thank you. Ouch. Thank you. Uh, Kapunka. Uh, okay, we're good. Ugh. All right, all right. There's my stuff, I'll get it once we get to shore. I am back safely. What an adventure! Go island hopping and then get stuck in the middle of the ocean because 
our boat breaks down, the propeller snaps, and I heard it too. Snapped in the water. He stopped the boat on the dime. I was like, oh crap, are we going under? I mean, thrilling. The water, the waves were pretty rough, and the boat was rocking. I was getting nauseous. And then search and rescue came, picked us up. Look at me being all dramatic. Okay, another boat came and picked us up, and he was flying through the ocean. I mean, we was hitting bumps, I was rocking. It was so fun, I was feeling nauseous though. As you can see from the waves on the side of the boat, how they were splashing up, because we were flying through that water. That was so fun. But you know what? I haven't had enough. I have plans for tomorrow too. You'll just have to wait and see where we're going. It's gonna be amazing. I'm taking the same guy, the same captain, who took me out and we got stuck in the middle of the ocean. I like him. I tipped him in addition to paying him because I'm hoping that that tip will help fix his boat. I felt kind of bad. He kept apologizing. I told him don't apologize. I had fun. This is, you know, exhilarating. And this is content. <laughs> okay, now, um, I'm not really too hungry for food, but my favorite coffee shop in uh, Karabi is open and I'm gonna go get me a mango smoothie with coconut flakes and um, uh, flaxseed. Oh, it's so good. It's mango and, and yogurt. It's called the Coffee Club, and it's right there, and it's open and it's packed. So let's go get us a smoothie. Let's look at McDonald's. I might try McDonald's and Karabi, because it's not like McDonald's in America. I'm sure they have different menu items. So we might go here and give it a try. I don't know when though, at some point. I still don't have an appetite. There is the mango smoothie. You see the chia seeds, shaved coconut, and maybe like a, a mint leaf. But this thing is having mango, fresh mango, yogurt, and that's it. I think ice. What a view. Went to my uh, hotel room, got freshened up, got my sunglasses because my eyes were killing me. Uh, took my hat off because it was too hot and we're back at it with a pineapple, fresh pineapple smoothie. Just pineapple and ice. Delicious! Man, this is good. I think it's the most fruit my body has ever gotten. Um, now let's just take a look at some of these shops because they do have a lot of good deals on a lot of stuff. Um, if, if you love to shop, Karabi is shopper's heaven. So let me show you some of the things that are being sold and you can negotiate and bargain of course. I already have what I need, so I'm not going to buy anything, but let me show you. You know those backpacks? North Face? I'm, I don't know if they're real. Probably not, but they look like good quality. Got some clothes. Kylan, they got a lot of good quality stuff. Even though it's not real, their stuff is better quality than America. It's not going to mess up. Sandals. Got North Face hats. I mean... You can negotiate for any of this stuff. I actually want a jersey, if I'm being honest. If I could find like a cool Thailand jersey. I mean, if you like clothes, they got a lot of stylish stuff. Calvin Klein, I mean, kids' jerseys. I've seen a lot of people in here buying stuff. Um, hats. Everywhere you go, there's hats. Undergarments. No excuse if you don't have any. You know, I just wish I bought a bigger bag. Look at me, let stop. I mean, they got a lot of good stuff here, and there are shops like this all over. And a lot of this stuff is negotiable. Look at the all kinds of bags. I mean, shoppers heaven. watches I used to be a watch fanatic growing up I had that that was my obsession growing up fun fact about me I used to love watches these are not real Rolexes at all but they're cute uh, I mean I'd be curious to see what they go for I mean shoppers heaven I mean 
bags for days. Ladies, if you come to Thailand, come to Karabi. If you like to shop. Shoppers heaven. Look at those cute bags. I mean, their fakes are so good that they said the Thai police was shutting some of these places down because their fakes were so good that you could not tell they were fake. Burger King. Should we try Burger King? Bangkok has a Burger King and I'm going back to Bangkok. They got veggie burgers and everything. They might, I probably 100% <laughs> taste better than U.S. for a fact. I think I'm going to take a cooking class when I get back to Bangkok so I can learn um, all the spices and stuff. I do want to start upping my cooking. No more one pot meals. I, I actually want to start I, I, coming to Thailand, man. Jamaica. Look at those shirts. Cinderella, MasterChef. Wow. Kermit, really. Bob Marley. I mean, these shops are everywhere in Karabi. If you like to shop, come to Karabi. Come to Karabi. This is where it's at. Support the locals. You can, like I said, you can, you can bargain unlimited smoothies. <laughs> uh, I, after this one, I'm gonna try the watermelon smoothie. Unlimited fruit. And then you got the beach right at your front door. I am eating at this Thai restaurant um, on the strip or on the street. Uh, let me show you my view. And I'm gonna force myself to eat even though I don't have an appetite. Um, I wanna try some of this food. I ordered some cashew chicken. Um, I'm not in the mood for anything spicy right now. It's just too hot for that, but um, we'll see how it tastes. Uh, by the way, I, I do tell the, the waiters and stuff that I do have a peanut allergy. Thank you. Kapunka. Silverware. So we're gonna try this cashew chicken and see how it tastes. They have a lot of other good things. Um, I might come back here again tomorrow. Well, actually I, I will and try some more traditional Thai dishes, but it's just too hot to be eating hot spicy food. It is just way too hot. So here is the meal. It smells spicy. And then some rice. First bite goes to you. The flavor on this, I can't even describe to you the flavor. It is the best, I can't even, it's a sweet, spicy. I can't. Mm. good oh my goodness I'm coming back oh mm. Mm.
This is so good. I can't even put into words how good this food is and how flavorful it is. I can't even put into words. I forgot to end the video um, after I ate I went back I showered and I got some rest um, man that cashew chicken was the best flavorful chicken I've ever had and I know I say that about every cultural dish that I try in a different country because the flavors are just that good I mean it was freaking amazing but I'm hoping that you enjoyed the video thanks for hanging out with me boy stuck in the middle of the ocean <laughs> you know it was actually really nice just being out there it was scary I'm not gonna lie the waves got a little bit rough boat was rocking I was a little nauseous but it was a good experience uh, one that I will never forget <laughs> boy oh boy but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here I appreciate you more than you know you guys are freaking amazing I have the best community on YouTube <laughs> hands down I'll be back in America real soon and uh, for some epic adventures. So I, I promise you it's going to be freaking amazing. It's going to be awesome. But I'm out. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace.